Here's how you can make $32 per hour from seven different work from home jobs. Now I went out and I found these jobs. I found out how much money you can make per hour with them. And I've done a lot of these jobs as well myself. So I know exactly how much you can make. And then I've averaged out the amount that you can make from these jobs. And the average amount is $32 per hour. And with each of these jobs, I'm going to be showing you, they're going to be 100% online and you're able to work from home. Now, if you're a student right now, you're in high school or you're just somebody looking to get an extra job to make some money, I cannot tell you just how lucky you are. Now you might be saying, Matt, I'm not lucky. It's so hard to find a job in today's climate. And I totally understand that. But what I mean is that we're very lucky today compared to the past in that we have so many more new opportunities that are available to us with the internet. And there's no way I would have been a multimillionaire by 23 years old if I was born 100 years ago. So I'm so grateful to be alive during this time. And if you're watching this video right here, there's so many opportunities available to you. But most people don't even know these opportunities exist. Not only am I going to share seven of these jobs with you, but I'm also going to reveal how much you can make per hour with each of them and what skills are typically required. Now, I have not been paid by any of the companies I'm going to mention throughout this video. This is through solely my own research and my own experience delving into so many different business models out there and trying so many different online jobs myself. And you might be saying, Matt, you're only 23. How do you have that much experience? Well, I've actually been doing this for nearly a decade. And yes, that means I started when I was just 14 years old in my making money online journey. But now it's time for me to make myself useful to you. And I get a lot of satisfaction out of helping people with this. So without further ado, here are those seven work from home jobs that can pay $32 per hour, starting with job number one, which is a typing job. And yes, you can get paid literally to type out either what you're listening to or videos that you're watching from a website called rev.com. If you go to their website, you'll see on the footer that you can sign up to be what's known as a subtitler or a transcriptionist. And essentially what they'll do is give you audio files or videos and you literally just type out what's being said. Now, if you're doing subtitles, you'll also time that text with the video. So as it's being said, you'll put the correct timestamps to ensure that it syncs up with the video. And the reason this is useful to companies or YouTube channels is because sometimes they want subtitles on their videos. Sometimes they want to take their videos, turn them into blog posts. And this is their way of paying a real human to do that work as opposed to artificial intelligence, which sometimes messes up. Also, what's cool about Rev is you can work on your own schedule and they pay out every single week. Now, as for how much money you can make if you're doing transcriptions, these do not require syncing it up with the video. So they pay between 30 cents and $1 and 10 cents per minute of audio or video that you transcribe. But if you're doing captions where you sync it up with the video, then it pays anywhere from 54 cents to $1 and 10 cents per minute of video or audio that you transcribe. Once you sign up, you'll basically be given a list of different projects and then you can select which one that you want to do based off the length of it. You can see all that stuff. And then they have an editor built into Rev to help make it easy for you also. Now I did a lot of research into this for writing the script for this video. And I found that people on Reddit were talking about making anywhere from eight to $10 per hour for the work that they were doing on Rev. I did see some people making even less than that as well. So this is basically minimum wage or even a little bit less than that, which is the reason why I'm showing you it first on this list. I personally think there are a lot of better methods out there, which I'm gonna be showing you in just a second. But I want to show you this one first because it requires almost no skills. You literally just need something you can type on and a way of listening to audio. And one thing this made me think about as well is who is paying to have these videos and audios transcribed? Well, if you look into it, it's actually mostly YouTube channels, TV shows, movies, and other types of content. And the reason they're able to pay Rev to have these services done is because they're making a lot of money from their videos. And let's take the example of YouTubers. So I personally have actually used Rev quite a bit in the past for putting some subtitles on my YouTube videos. And if you don't know my backstory, I run over a dozen different YouTube channels, most of which are completely faceless YouTube channels. And in paying Rev, I'm actually making a lot of more money back from my YouTube channels, which are making consistent ad revenue. So I think there's a lot more potential in YouTube. That being said, it does take some time to start getting the ball rolling, so to speak, with running YouTube channels. But in my opinion, it's way worth it. Job number two for making money online is Preply. Preply is a language tutoring website where if you speak good 
English or any other language that's in high demand like Spanish or French, you can sign up and teach other people how to speak that language. And if you're watching this video right now, you probably speak English. And if you go on their website, you'll see that they pay English tutors anywhere from $15 to $25 per hour. And then Preply goes ahead and deals with all that boring work that you don't want to have to deal with, like handling payments, making homework, and the whole software side. And to get on Preply, you literally just need a decent internet connection, a webcam ideally, and then also some type of microphone would be good. And of course, your language skills. And I went ahead and checked the FAQs for this. You don't need any type of certification or college degree or anything like that. So $15 to $25 per hour, it's a little bit more than the last method that we covered. And that's mainly due to the fact that this particular skill pays a little bit more, but you're still trading your time for money because you have to actually hop on those calls and teach people a language. Job number three is Click Worker. Click Worker is essentially an AI business that creates artificial intelligence models for businesses that need them. And AI, even though it is very intelligent, it needs to be trained. And in order to get trained, it needs certain data fed into it. And companies like Click Worker help humans make a little bit of extra money by doing small odd jobs that help train a certain AIs. Now, Click Worker is more of a side hustle than an actual proper job due to the fact that you just complete these little simple and easy tasks that they ask you to. It doesn't take really long. Now you might be saying, Matt, what are some examples of what I'd have to do? Well, it usually involves maybe writing some text, taking pictures, doing certain research, or even just filling out some questions. There's millions of these different micro tasks as they call them on their website. And just like Rev that we mentioned earlier, you can pick up and work when you want with this. And I did some research into this. I found people making anywhere from six to $11 per hour. So you might not get rich doing this, but it might be a decent side hustle to make some extra money. Job number four is user testing. Now you probably have heard of doing online surveys in order to make extra money. And unfortunately, most online survey websites out there aren't particularly legit. And even if they are, they're only going to pay out a couple cents. Like for example, Google Opinion Rewards, which is an app you can download on your phone. They're a legit survey website where you just answer super simple questions, but you're only going to make a very small amount per survey. You're not gonna make millions of dollars answering surveys. That being said, there's better kinds of surveys that you can do and make a lot more money. And these kind of surveys are put out by companies that typically need their websites tested. And then they just ask you some questions about it. You answer them and you get paid a lot more for it. And one such company that facilitates this is called usertesting.com. And essentially what you can do is sign up for their website. And then from there, they'll give you different websites, applications, software to test out. Some of it will require doing like a screen recording, showing different things. Some will require just testing it out and answering some questions. It depends on the particular test. And as for how much you can make, each test usually pays out an average of like $10 per test. And the average test takes anywhere from five to 20 minutes to complete. That being said, I signed up for their website and I found multiple tests that pay a lot more than this. For example, this test right here, which paid $30 for just 30 minutes of your time. And this test right here, which paid $60 for an hour of your time. So we'll say you can make an average of about $40 per hour doing this. Job number five is online job boards. These are websites like upwork.com or fiverr.com where companies can hire people to do everything under the sun. For example, I use these websites all the time within my YouTube businesses to hire people in order to write scripts, do voiceovers, do video editing. And trust me, I know what you're thinking, Matt, what if I don't have any skills? Can I still make money with Upwork or Fiverr? And I actually believe you can because there's a lot of great low barrier to entry jobs on these places. For example, being a social media manager, which typically just comprises of posting stuff at a regular schedule or potentially being a customer service specialist. This is essentially where you answer emails for a company or you answer a live chat. If you're young, a social media manager position could potentially be good for you due to the fact that you may already be familiar with social media. Most people this day and age are, but both of these jobs don't really require any certification. And we'll say the average amount you can make for this would be about $30 per hour. Another great online job is job number six, which is being a content writer. Another thing almost every company, business, social media account needs online is somebody to write content. Think about it, blogs need content written. I need content written for my YouTube channels for scripts. And how much you make doing this is going to depend on how much money that you charge. Some writers charge more than others, but I would recommend charging at least $20 per 1,000 words that you write. And if it takes you about an hour to write that much, that would be making $20 per hour, which is not bad at all. And eventually as you build up more and more reviews and your resume grows, you can charge more and more per hour. I've even seen writers charge as much as 50 or $100 per hour, but that's eventually down the line once you get a lot of reviews. And a bonus tip for doing this is to utilize AI tools, for example, ChatGPT, to help you with the writing process. Don't just rely on it 100%, but you can use it to get ideas and also 
also just use it in the rough draft process so that you go in and fix everything up. It can definitely help you become 10 times more productive. I also recently made a video about artificial intelligence and ChatGPT in particular. You can check it out right here if you're interested in that. Online job number seven is being a channel operator. I mentioned it a couple times throughout this video that I run 12 different YouTube channels. And this is the first way that I made my first big money online. And essentially the way that this works is you can make completely faceless content and treat your channel as a company or a brand. You don't have to be a personality like I'm doing right here. This took me years to get confident enough to be able to step in front of a camera and record videos like this. I did not start off being able to do this, which is why most of my channels, actually all of them except this one that you're watching right here, are completely faceless. And I treat them as brands. And every video that I upload on specific topics on those channels, I treat sort of as a seed. And each of those seeds can come to harvest sometimes months or even years in the future. And I'm still making money from videos that I uploaded when I was a teenager in high school. So I got really lucky learning about this business model at a young age, but no matter what your age is, I wanna share it with you now right here. Now here's an example of a YouTube channel that does this called Philosophies for Life. And they just talk about different ancient philosophies and whatnot. They just do a voiceover. You can literally just use your phone for doing voiceovers. And then they use a software called Videoscribe to make these whiteboard animation videos. And Videoscribe makes it super easy. They upload one video per week and they get 900,000 views per month. And if they get a $10 CPM, which means how much money they're making per thousand views, if that's $10, that would mean they're making $9,000 per month. And let's say it takes them an average of about three hours to make a video if it's just one person making the videos themselves then in that case they would be working 12 to 15 hours per month on this channel that's a lot less than most people work per week and they could theoretically just do that per month and make way more than a full-time income now i did the math on this and that comes out to them making 600 dollars per hour that they work but it's really even more than that if you think about it because they're making money from videos they uploaded a long time ago and that money can just keep coming in and even if they don't work work for an entire month, they're still gonna make pretty decent money because at this point they've uploaded a big backlog of videos that is up there and it keeps getting views and it keeps in turn making them money. And the way it makes money is YouTube puts ads on these videos and then it gives creators who upload videos on the platform, whether they're faceless channels or any type of channel, money every single time someone sees one of those ads on their videos. But keep in mind, it took them time to build up a channel like this. Most channels take 30 to 60 videos before a video takes off. And let's say they're spending money on other expenses, even if they're making $100 per hour, that's incredibly good. Plus, like I mentioned, this is what I would consider to be passive income because those videos can keep getting views. Now, I personally make much more than $600 per hour. I know it's crazy to say from all of my YouTube channels, if you average it out with the amount of work that I put in every single week, because I literally just work a couple hours per week on my channels and they pull in over $30,000 per month. And that's just ad revenue. They make even more than that when you consider alternative monetization sources like affiliate marketing and selling digital products like my course, which teaches people how to grow on YouTube as well. And with all of these income streams combined, I make well over $100,000 per month, which is really crazy to say this has been a goal of mine for a long time and it's actually happening. For the longest time, I didn't think this was possible, this whole making money online thing, but I'm here to tell you that it 100% is possible. I'm not just saying that because I've succeeded. I've had tons of students succeed with this as well. And I've talked to so many people that now I know for a fact that it's possible to make money online. If you know what you're doing and if you spend your time on the right activities. Like I mentioned earlier, doing surveys where you get paid out a dollar per survey, you know, you're not gonna make a million dollars doing that. But doing things like running YouTube channels or higher leverage things, you will make more money. But with the things that make you more money, it's typically a longer period of time that you have to go with making no money until you start making money with that. As opposed to some of the jobs I showed you earlier in this video, you can start making money fast, but it might not just be huge money. Now, like I mentioned, I make over $100,000 per month and I actually have a video where I go over my eight different income streams that you can check out right here. I literally break each one down, how much I make per month from each, how exactly I built them up to that point, And I basically share everything with you, try to be as transparent as possible. Feel free to check that out. And for each of the income streams that I share with you in this video today, I wanna share with you how much Money that you can make from each of them. For Rev, it's up to $10 per hour. For Preply, it's $15 per hour. For Clickworker, it's $11 an hour. For User Testing, it's $40 per hour. For the Remote Job Boards, we average it out to $30 per hour. For being a content writer, we put it at about $20 hourly. And for being a YouTube channel operator, really the sky's the limit, but let's put it at $100 per hour. Now, if you're interested in running YouTube channels at this point, you are in the right place. I put together a video for you right here next to me if you're interested in that. You can just click 
click it and check it out right here. It shows you exactly step-by-step -step how to start a faceless channel from complete scratch. Put a lot of work into this. It's essentially a free course is what I designed it to be for you here. So this will give you a ton of value. Four secrets, exactly how to do it. Check it out. My name is Matt Parr. Thanks for watching and I'll see you there.